It's important to find in your heart what is your dream. The sky's the limit. It's a saying that many people have heard since they were young kids. But for astronaut David St. Jacques, that phrase is still too restrictive as he dreams to go far beyond the clouds. But at least having a dream gives you a direction to go every day. If you don't have a dream, where do you go? Through his career as an engineer, astrophysicist, medical doctor in a small Arctic village on Hudson Bay, and now a Canadian Space Agency astronaut, believing a person can do anything they set their mind to is a sentiment that stuck with St. Jacques after an astronaut visited his school many years ago. I was a very curious little boy, a small child, and I was really impressed by these images of the Earth seen from the moon. And uh, I remember when someone explained to me that the photographer was on the moon. So I determined not to be an astronaut, I didn't think it was possible, but I determined that I would stay in school, I would stay fit, I would travel, I would learn languages, and I would try to strive to become a trustworthy person, a responsible adult. And that kind of became my guiding principle in life. Being inspired at such a young age, St. Jacques now travels across Canada, sharing with students his challenging yet influential journey that led him to becoming a Canadian astronaut. Every couple of months we target an area of Canada to do outreach and talk to kids in schools and students in universities uh, to tell them about the space program, tell them about my experience as, a, as an astronaut and try to make, spark their imagination and their power of their dreams to better themselves and kind of follow uh, their own path. In partnership with a nationally recognized charitable organization called Let's Talk Science, the Canadian Space Agency sent St. Jacques to Saskatoon Silver Spring Elementary School. I've never met a real life a real life astronaut. I've heard about them, of course, but I've never actually met one. So it was really cool to hear about his experiences. Once the lights came on, Let's Talk Science coordinators hosted interactive games with the students, teaching them about space-related facts while showing them that science is not intimidating. They told us what made comets, and I'd always thought it was just like a big rock, but it was cool how many ingredients there actually was. I think it's very cool because then people can learn about what it's like being an astronaut, what consequences you have to face, and also to learn how comments is made. The presentation wrapped up with a question period and there was no shortage of arms held high as students were eager to learn more about science and St. Jacques' experience. I just suck in their energy. I mean, it's amazing how keen and fired up uh, they are and it's a great privilege because I know they're paying attention so you know I can tell them my best advice so this is actually a lot of fun, very uplifting for me. And as accomplished as Saint Jacques is, he hopes students understand that you can always have new dreams as he waits patiently to see if one day he'll be sent to space. That remains my overall ambition and my goal Every day I try to do something to better myself and be a better candidate for when the time comes to send the next Canadian. He told us that your dream is just a direction to go in and you can change that path if you want and just take a step every day. To learn more about Let's Talk Science initiatives, visit letstalkscience.ca. Was that not awesome? <laughs>